explosions. That's what we need right now. We need some special effects. I'm trying to make a MVP here, as we've stated. Um, and right now we have enough of the core gameplay that we could actually put this in front of players and start testing and get feedback um, on uh, the feel of the controls, the difficulty levels, that sort of stuff. Um, but right now I can tell you already that it's not fun. It's not fun yet. And it won't be fun until we put in some juice. And there's an old saying I learned from a programmer friend of mine a long time ago. He said, while not fun, particles plus plus. And there is incredible truth to that. So today, let's put in some effects. For another project, I've already created a simple anim script. And I'm just going to drop that straight into the project and see if we can adapt that to work for our purposes. Um, Let's take a look at it. All right, what have we got here? This is already going to be a pooled object. Uh, and when we initialize, we are going to play an animation if you've got one. And if you've got an audio, we'll go ahead and play that too. We'll be coming back to that when we get to the audio. For now, I'm just going to leave that be. Um, that may save us some time down the road. What else is in here? Um, something. There's a call to setup, and this setup will go and get the animation component and do some neat little tricks. We don't want the, just the same animation over and over again for these effects. These are going to be explosions and those little pew pew pews. Um, and if we do it exactly the same every time, it doesn't have a lot of variety or variation really cheap way to get quick variety and variation is to just scale the animation speed, scale the size and the rotation of your little sprite. Um, and yeah, we got a billboard mode in here, which was for 3D games. Don't need that, so let's go ahead and take it out. Let's take out the billboard option because that's for 3D. And we'll leave the rest in there. Um, and we're doing the same thing for the audio, but we'll get back to that maybe another time. Okay, uh, what else does it do? I'll run a little code routine that just waits for the animation to be over. When the animation is over, and any sound, if there is one, is over, we'll release, we'll automatically just delete. And so these, this little script will make an animation automatically randomized when it plays and automatically delete when it's done. Let's make some now. Okay, I want this explosion. Let's do, we're gonna do explosion, flame, I'm gonna want that for sure. Um, we're gonna want the pals. Let's get those going. Okay, uh, all right, and let's make, we're gonna make a new character, at, or new sprite atlas for these. Let's do that. Create 2D Sprite Atlas. And we'll call this, what, effects? And what are we going to put in there? We're going to put explosion A. Nope, wait, no, that's not how that works. You go in here and you have to put some stuff in there. So you're just going to put, just randomly picking a sprite. Doesn't matter what sprite we're going to put in here because these are just placeholders for I want to put explosion A, the entire folder, in there, and flame, and pow. Okay, and let's take a look at the pack. And there's there's our packed atlas sitting in there. Um, awesome. Okay, let's make ourselves um, a new effect. Let's start with the explosion. Explosion, drop it in the scene. This is explosion. It's just a generic explosion. We use it, we reuse it a lot. Let's animate the thing. Oh, we've got a window animation. Create. You may have noticed that the um, that the script just played something called splash. 
Let's call it start. Let's call it start. Okay, um, because we want a generic name that's going to cover all of our generic effects. Boom. Uh, and let's take a look at it, I guess. Boom, boom, boom. It's too fast, of course. Let's try it at 30 frames per second. That seems good. We can go back to the original code and find out what it used to be. Uh, probably under effects. Explosion. There we go. And the frame rate was somewhere between 15 and 30. So I'll set it to 30. And there's our explosion. We need to add that simple animation script and uh, min speed 0.5, max speed 1. So that'll go from 15 to 30 like the original did. Um, do we have a min and max scale? 1 to 2 were the scales. 1 to 2. Um, do we have... No. Okay. So there's that. And there's our explosion. Ready to go. Let's make a prefab. Boom. So we've got a prefab for that now. Oh, uh, let's program that prefab. I think when a bird dies, was it only enemy bird? Let's find explode sound new explosion. It was on enemy bird. So let's put it on bird. Let's um, what we'll do is we'll say I want a public game object explosion. Death effect? Let's call it death effect. Okay, enemy bird damage. Here we are. Ah, explode. There we go. I knew I had this. Here it is. Um, if null is not equal to m x and death effect. Okay, so if we have a death effect, uh, I want to grab a pool for it. You can start on 64, it's a good number as any. Um, and if you got one, do it. Okay, the enemy bird should now have an explosion. Let's try it out. Oh, I gotta set those up. Gotta set those up. Uh, resources, enemy one. He needs an explosion effect. Boop. Enemy two needs an explosion effect. Enemy three. Gets an explosion effect. Let's do it. Boom. Look at that. Okay, so that's the explosions. Let's do the little flame bursts when the um, when the enemies spawn, when the eggs hit the, the fire. That's called flame. Okay, same thing as before. We'll add some animation. And we called it start. Flame, give me all of it. Okay, 
And let's look at the original frame rate of the flame. 20 to 30. So we'll set it at 30. And you can set it to 20. Okay. There's our flame. Let's put simple anim on it. And one to one and a half. And the scale on the flame was I didn't see a random scale on it. So I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to leave it because I want a little bit of a random scale on there. I'm going to leave it at the defaults. Okay, so we've got a, a flame. All right, let's just call it flame. Flame. Flame prefab. Ready to go. Let's spawn that off of the egg. That should work. Now let's just give our eggs a flame prefab. Okay. Excellent. Uh, this flame needs to be removed from the scene. Something uh, doesn't look right though. When these guys spawn, I think I want them sorted behind the little flames and they're sorted in front of the little flames. So. Mm. Vector three plus equals transform dot position plus dot z minus equals one point oh plus sort of the flames to the front. I'm seeing double animations on those. Are these marked as loops? They are. Of course they are. Uh-huh. Yep. Those are going to be marked as loops. Where are those? Sprites. Flame. Flame animation. Not the animation controller. That. Not a loop. And I'm sure Explosion has the same problem. Not a loop. Nope. Enemies need to spawn need that spawn same flame effect. So let's give him one. Yeah, so we'll put public game object. Spawn effect. So enemies now get a spawn effect, and we will go and assign them all to have that same spawn effect. Nice. Okay, the last thing to put in then is going to be the pew pews. Pow, there's my script. Zap, pow, pew. Yeah, it's always pew. Bang, when I got hit. Bang, bang is me getting hit. Boom is the rocket hitting me. Bang, boom. Yeah, they're specifically set up for different purposes. Okay, we had a script called PAL. We'll have a new script called PAL. Okay, let's copy this sort of stuff. Um, and these are going to now be tweakers instead of constants. Okay, and um, instead of frame rate, let's call it 
restoration. Let's call them time min. Time, and let's randomize it while we're in here. Time min, time max. We'll go from 1.8 to 2.2 seconds. Let's give it some variation. Uh, random offset. I believe that was a random rotation. Uh-huh. No, rand ang. What is rand ang? Rand ang was 0.4, and that was in radians. So 0.4 times 180 divided by pi. So about 23 degrees. We'll say 24 degrees. OK, what is random offset? What is that? Huh. OK, random offset was in position. And so that would be divided by 90. 10 divided by 90. I can do that in my head. 0 0.1. 0 0.1 F. OK. And we're going to be definitely a pooled object. So we need uh, override our init do this now not all of that and we need a coroutine so we got a i enumerator um countdown countdown So, time, yield, return, new, wait, four seconds, time, free, we're done. Okay, uh, great, start that timer now, do a start, coroutine, countdown, random, range, M time min, M time max. Okay, so there's our PAL script. Let's throw that on some PALs here. Throw that on the PAL. Uh, there's bang. Let me get the others while I'm in here. Boom. Pew and zap. Okay, and these all need the PAL script on them. And we'll go to the laser, laser bullet, is it bullet? And we'll need a public, public game object M impact Q, PAL. A bit of power. There's those, and let's put the laser bullet. A bullet. A laser bullet has an impact pow. That was pew. Boom. The enemy rocket. Sorry, the, the fireball we just did, right? Fireball had had what? Had a bang on it. We'll put a bang on that fireball right there. And what did the enemy rocket have on it? Enemy rocket had a boom. Okay, how about the uh, enemy energy blast? Energy blast had a zap. So energy blast has a zap. There we are. Boom. Let's go. 
Pew, pew, pew. Hmm. The pews are not working anymore. They were working, but now they're not. You've got the call base dot in it. Cool. I don't like that. No, what's that doing? Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. They're lasting too long. Pew, let's try 0 0.4 to 0 0.6. Let's just do the pew. And we'll copy that to everything. Give me some, give me some shoot. Pew, pew, pew. Still too, still too long. Try zero point two to zero point four. I'm like a little little pop. Yeah, I like that. That's good. That's pretty cool. We got some nice little effects we've just added pretty easily. Um, that's good progress, getting the juice putting together. Um, the next thing we need to add is the sound effects that go with those things. So stay tuned for the next episode and we'll throw in some sound effects. Until then, I will see you out there in Devland. Good night.